Hi, and welcome to The Aspiring Actor's Guide to New York. Working title. It's The Aspiring Actor's Guide to New York. Yeah. On this show, we drink wine, talk about dogs, whether or not we see them, and how to do things in New York that pertain to being a musical theater performer. Yeah. Today we're talking about how to stay sane when you're not getting seen. You guys, this one's a little hard to talk about. <laughs> oh, there are some days. You're trying to get seen at five different auditions in one day. And it's day three of just trying to get seen as much as possible. And you have not been seen once. And it hurts. It's, it is disheartening. It's tempting to throw in the towel, you know? So here are some tips and tricks to not hating yourself and not hating everyone. Number one, treat yourself. Sometimes you got to treat yourself. We learned that from Aziz Ansari and Retta. Maybe better known to you as the characters uh, Tom Haverford and, and Donna Meagle from Parks and Rec. You got to treat yourself. Treat yourself. Find something that is inexpensive but also a nice treat that you only do for yourself on audition day. I have a friend named Dennis who goes to Chick-fil-A every morning that he goes to an audition. He doesn't audition every day of the week. He uh, only goes to the auditions that really, like, hit home to him. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Uh, point number two. Keep busy in the holding room. You will go insane if you are just sitting there in the holding room, twiddling your thumbs, waiting for your name to be called. If you can find a survival job that you do from the computer and you do on your own schedule, then see if you can't work while you're in the holding room. Two birds with one stone. Make some money while you're trying to make your dreams come true. You know? I, I don't do that, but I would like to. That'd be neat. I edit these videos when I'm in the holding room sometimes. You know, one ear butt in. That's another thing. Uh, make sure that you don't listen to your music too loud or you got a buddy who's like, hey, they called your name. If you miss your name while you're in the holding room, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Don't do that. Brings me to my next point. Encourage each other. This, this can be kind of a, a competitive business, yes. Like sometimes you'll be going up against your, your friends for roles. But try to encourage each other. Be, find the excitement when they book the role over you and vice versa. Be supportive of one another. Find a small group of friends or a large group of friends. I don't know how you do. But have a group of friends that uh, has each other's back. Uh, is going to give you a text if they call your name in the holding room, which is going to be discouraging. You know, you're going to be kicking yourself because you missed your name, but then you know, hey, maybe I have time to go sign up. Or, hey, maybe I don't have to go back there because they already called my name and I'm not going to make it back in time to be seen today. There's no need to be petty and to be mean. Like, be a decent human being and encourage your fellow performers, you guys all want the same thing. Just because there's a limited amount of roles in the world doesn't mean that you can't be kind to one another. So be kind. Rewind. That's not relevant anymore. Rewinding isn't really a thing. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you get out of bed in the morning and there are three auditions that you write for, try to put your name on the list for all three. If you can guess which one is going to be the least attended, even if that's not the one you're most excited for, Maybe get there first. Get your name on that list first. Being seen for a show that you're not as excited about but you're right for is better than not being seen at a show that you're perfect for, that you love. You can't book what you don't audition for. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't try to get seen at just one audition in a day if, if there are several auditions right for you. Building off that, never get too excited about an audition that you don't have an appointment for. This is so hard. It's so hard. It's like, you're like, ooh, Come From Away is having an audition. Yes, I want to be on Broadway. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to get seen. I'm going to sing eight bars because by the time they get to non-union, that's what's going to happen. They're going to cut it down to eight or four bars. And I'm going to book. Then all my dreams are going to come true. Don't get too excited about an audition you don't have an appointment for. Also, don't get too excited for an appointment, for an appointment you do have. Because you're going to psych yourself out. Go into the room to have fun and to meet those people. Um, don't think about the pressure of like my initial appointment. Oh my gosh, if I book this, then I can quit my job. It's, it's not going to help you. It's going to scare you from doing your best work. That one I can speak to from experience.
definitely done that move before. Be excited to be in the room. Be excited right now for what you're doing without getting too excited about what's co- what could happen down the road. Because you don't know. You don't know what's going to come down the road. You don't, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know. Live in the now, bruh, 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 yay. Yes. Talking about do, don't get too excited. On the other end of the spectrum, if your feelings are a spectrum, don't get too excited it's over here. Don't beat yourself up too much when you tank in the room because it's going to happen. There's no reason to be like, oh, throwing in the towel. That casting director is never going to see me again, and they're going to tell their friends that I suck, and, and I, I do suck because I did suck in that moment. And I'm the worst actor, and I, I should quit. I should quit right now. I have had that moment before. Allie Beans, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I tanked. I tanked that Priscilla audition for Norwegian Cruise Line. Oh, man. I bombed. I misunderstood the email. I uh, came in without preparing anything from the packet because I'm an idiot. And I was awful. I looked like I had never been in an audition room before. That was probably my 100th audition in New York. Tangent. Probably going to edit that out. So write in the comments below if you have any questions or uh, if you think this video sucked. Uh, you know, just berate me in the comments section. Tell me that my hair looks dumb. Because I can take it. I can't. Please don't do that. It's going to kill me. Check out my other videos if you're interested. We like to have a good time on this channel, so uh, hopefully if you enjoy this one, you, you'll like these guys. If you like this channel, subscribe. I'll re be releasing new videos just like this one on different topics every Thursday at 3 o'clock. They'll exist on the internet forever, so that's not daunting. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for coming out. See you in the trenches. Chase your dreams. <laughs>